Invicare Mark VI Laptop IVS allows rehab providers to use a computer to view, modify, or store programming settings for power wheelchairs using Invicare Mark VI Electronics. Unlike other laptop programming requirements available on the market, Mark VI Laptop IVS does not require the computer to be hardwired to the power chair. In fact, there is no software to install. Everything about Mark VI IVS runs off of the Mark VI Professional SD card, including the programming itself. As you have seen from the tutorial updating software on your Mark VI Professional card, the Mark VI Professional card is a versatile storage center for all things Mark VI. In addition to using the Professional card to update your card to the latest software, it can be used to make programming changes to multiple systems saved to the card. This is covered in a separate tutorial called the Mark VI Professional card. In addition to that, you can read frequently asked questions, view digital photos of power wheelchair configurations and components, and access repair or troubleshooting instructions. So, let's take a look at some of the features of Mark VI Laptop IVS. As you have seen in previous tutorials, your Mark VI Professional card becomes a visual guide when inserted into a card reader and plugged into the USB port on your laptop or desktop computer. When the Pro Card and the card reader are inserted into the USB port on your computer, Laptop IVS will automatically load and launch on your screen. When Laptop IVS appears on your screen, click OK and you're ready to use it. The help menu offers troubleshooting for all of the Invicare's most popular Mark VI powered wheelchairs, including the TDXSP and the Torque 3. Choose Troubleshooting to get started. At the top of the window on the left margin is a frequently asked question screen that defines parameters of the Mark VI programming world and components and offers programming tips. Just use your mouse to click a frequently asked question topic and you are immediately moved to that section. It's also important to remember that help screens aren't limited to laptop IVS. With your professional card inserted into your handheld programmer, you can view some of these very same help screens and programming definitions. If you're new to Mark VI programming and want helpful reminders on the road, the print function will allow you to print only the topics you've selected or all topics available on the screen. The Status Messages screen is your troubleshooting and visual map guide for Mark VI software. The first two choices help you, the professional, decode the screen layouts for the MPJ and Mark VI standalone display. Here you'll find definitions for many of the different screens one might access on their Mark VI driver controller display. For a consumer new to Mark VI software, it might be beneficial to print some of these screens to leave behind as a guide in addition to the owner's manual. Mark VI icons defines the different icons one would see for modes, status, connected devices, powered seating, and status messages on both the MPJ with color display and display. Finally, the Fault Diagnostic Codes screen takes troubleshooting to a virtual level by defining all of the fault or diagnostic codes you might encounter. For example, if the fault error code reads Battery Fault E14, Laptop IVS tells you that the controller has determined that the batteries need to be replaced and recommends that the wheelchair professional replace the batteries. In addition to watching Mark VI virtual tutorials like this one to learn about the many features of Mark VI programming, you can use Laptop IVS for a wealth of programming definitions and tips. 
The programming screen contains information about the Invicare handheld programmer and memory cards, which are also covered in other Mark VI virtual tutorials. Possibly the most powerful programming help screens are available under the Performance Adjustments, Standard Programs, Powered Seating, Calibrations, and Diagnostics menus. These extensive Mark VI functions are the foundation for all wheelchair programming. Each unique section, like Performance Adjustments, cover each parameter with a short definition and a long definition that discusses how the, that individual parameter affects driving or ECUs. After the programming menu screen, there are a number of different help screens for our popular Mark VI powered wheelchairs. From the TDX SP all the way to the Power Tiger, each of these screens provide a visual frequently asked questions for service related items related to controllers, actuators, and programming. The color photos add visual cues to the written troubleshooting along with programming tips for the questions we hear most often. These tips are repeated for 12 different models covering the most important and technical aspects of troubleshooting power wheelchairs. Again, the print function makes taking this information with you easy in a hard copy format. Now that you're an expert on Mark VI laptop IVS, remember that it is preloaded on all Mark VI professional SD cards and contains the latest version of the Invicare software. In addition, providers can get the latest version of Mark VI Laptop IVS when they update their software on their professional cards in the technical zone at www.invicare.com. Thank you for your time.